Oh, yeah. leaving camp and straight up the hill. This looks like so I think I want to just get up on that rock somehow and head straight over. I don't really want to go out to the point and around I just want to cut over the hill. Oh, I don't like this bit. Well, not through. There we go. I just traversed through that. <sighs> I guess I knew if I slid, I have a ledge and some bushes, but it would have tickled. <sighs> All right. So the plan is, I'm going down to the beach obviously, I gotta go through a bit of bush to get there. I've just sort of shortcut it, I didn't want to follow the coast all the way because it's just extra distance and probably take a fair bit longer. So shortcut straight to the beach, well, wind gonna blow me over and um, I might have to try for a squid on the rocks down in the corner there if it's, if it's not too windy. And then, I don't know, I might want to lay low for a while and chill, or I might just get straight into it. And we're hiking out to that point. I'm probably pointing in the wrong spot, but we're hiking out to the point of this headland to camp. And um, some of the terrain looks all right. Oh, and sections of it just look horrible. This is the bit that I knew was, I expected this to be the hardest, so, yeah. Big deep cave, actually that goes up a fair way. Waves must wash right up in there, hollow it out. I'm not gonna go crawling in there with my backpack on. But, uh, very cool. Gee, this coastline is amazing. Loving it.
Okay, so I've just walked out past the beach a bit. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try for a squid actually. I think there could be squid here. So they're nice and loose. Biggest problem I might have is uh, the winds preventing me from getting my jig down. Really. Not what I normally use for squid, but it does work. It is working. Mind you, I haven't caught a squid yet, but. So we didn't catch anything here. I didn't try too hard either. There's a few herring, but um, I want to get out the end now where the fishing should be a lot better. Loaded up, both solar panels are on the go now. And uh, get moving. Can't wait to get this on my back. I might have come to a dead end, so I've just dropped the bag. I just want to have a look at this. I think I might have to go up, but let's have a look if we can get around or not. And I just want to have a look regardless. Yeah, I'm thinking it's highly unlikely I'm going to uh, bring my bag through here. Disturbed about 10 billion sand flies or whatever they are. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. I do love it. But, um, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, we're going to go around. I mean, go up rather than go around. I'm not bringing the bag through here. And I don't even know what's around the corner. I might take a photo or two though. I might just go down here this time and we'll go back through the tunnel. Might have a quick sneak peek around the corner. How's that rock? Imagine camping in that or something. That'd be pretty funny. All right, close your mouth. We're going through the sand fly tunnel. Oh. Yuck. Oh, this place is amazing. Cool climb up there. How did I even get down here? I climbed down that, didn't I? So that looks a lot easier than how it felt.
I guess I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't nice and easy. Phew! Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, while I'm here, before I head up and over, it wouldn't be right if I didn't have a quick cast at least. With this perfect looking rock to stand on just here. Hopefully I don't get wet feet. Yeah. Give it a quick shot. Alright, time to head up. It's so much easier without this big backpack on. Anyway. That is a cool cave. Check out this cave. It's amazing. I'm just on the way up and I just couldn't help myself. You gotta stop and enjoy these moments. I even just threw a little camera in the corner there. All right, so we're up above it. Obviously I can't go down there, but we'll head along and cross over the bushy section then back down just scoot around pretty much. That's the plan, it's very nice out here today, very calm. Looks like this flows with water in winter. Anyway, that was pretty easy. My legs don't agree though. So that's one of the spots I was thinking about going. It doesn't look that good fishing, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't. So we're going around here a bit. Oh! And I'm just gasping for air while my legs burn. Let's watch some kangaroos just hop off then. It's like two little ones and a mum. They're all pretty small actually. Anyway, down we go to find a campsite. This is my campsite somewhere around here. We can find a flat rock up here somewhere. But man, it's pretty specky. Little location. Oh, my legs. Yeah, I'm going to drop everything up in here. This is awesome. Whoa! And a little bit fragile. Alright, I'm just going to go for a quick flick. See what's around. How cool is this? I'm standing. Ugh, maybe I shouldn't stand on it. I just saw how many cracks there were at the top. That will literally give way and drop some stage. Anyway, it's amazing out here. The terrain is pretty epic. All the rock features and stuff. And I thought I just saw a groper before. Gee, I could almost, I'm trying to find somewhere to sleep. Just gonna have a quick little flick. I thought I saw one just in here before. Just go and proper cast out the back. I just want like a harlequin or a brake seat cod or a nanny guy surprised me, you know. There's got to be some groper along here. I don't know if they'll show any interest, but it'd be cool to 
So my first attempt at catching something was unsuccessful um, and I got snagged so I'm just up here in the shade again. It's quite hot out there, I think it's about 30 degrees today nearly and really windy, I need to drink some water. We'll retire and I'll probably just have a fish a bit later in the afternoon which means dinner will be counting on that but I reckon we'll get something. Even if it's a RAS, we'll get something. And I've tired another FG, so we're gonna head out. I think it's a bit less windy. Do a little bit of white cap, and it is clouded right over. Just like that. It's quite interesting. I might check the forecast if I can get some reception. Anyway, we'll get a line in the water, because I still need to get dinner. Got something, yay! Oh, is this my dinner? Do I risk it? Do I risk it? I don't know. That could be my dinner. Let's put him over here in this little puddle for a bit. Oh. He's not my dinner. Because I should have uh, grabbed him. Right. It's alright. That was only one or two casts. It's not really what I wanted for dinner. <laughs> and I was going to go lay him in a puddle and have another cast or two. Oh, I've cut cast. Alright. Surely we can get something better. Another break sea cod or something. Can I eat those rats? I think they're just a bit mushy. Um, but, you know. Food's food at the moment. That's a fish. Bit better or is it side hooked? I don't know. Anyway, we got something else on second cast. Out deeper, let's see. Could be a break seat cut. Feels alright. What's it going to be? Could even be a harlequin, yeah! Alright, that's dinner. Hey, that's probably the perfect size harlequin. That's actually the size that I wanted. Look at that! That's perfect, I'm so glad I dropped that ras. Mate, I'm happy. I was sure there had to be some better fish around. So it's not a big harlequin. But that's like perfect size for me. Because I just need one night's dinner. Um, yeah, that's it. I could literally stop fishing now. But I might have a few more casts. We'll see what's around. We'll throw back whatever else we catch. All right, that's that done. We have caught dinner. I had a few more casts and I didn't get anything. So, no point in hanging around. I don't need anything else to eat. I just was going to catch and release if I got anything else. I'm going to grab my fish before it gets warm. Take it back to camp. I'll put this in the cooler bag. They'll just keep at a reasonable temperature until we eat it. And um, get a fire going and set up the tent. Probably get the fire down nice and low near the water somewhere. So yeah, nothing flat in here. So I'll show you where we're going to set up tent. See what I'm seeing? This here. It's nice and flat. 
pretty crazy little spot to pitch the tent, but as long as you don't sleepwalk, you'll be right. That's it, I'll just rub a bit of zinc off on the camera. This is where we're going to camp. Perfect, really. Um, so we'll get set up and I'll show you soon. How good is this? Filleting a fish right next to the fire. That I caught maybe two hours ago, if that, an hour and a half. Stuff that bit up. Mate, I'm going to eat well tonight. Not my best job ever. A few scales in there for added texture. Get some scales off of them. Keen to develop my spoon a little further. I only want it for tonight, so I'm not doing anything too fancy, just Oh crap. Anyway, now it's kind of like a fork slash spoon. Right, and we'll open up this and have a look. This is what's on the menu. Korma curry. We have a bit of a, how's that? Going, surviving just a bit of broccolini, which seems to be all right still. So yeah, that's the plan. Start them frying. I probably won't eat the whole spices, but they will um, they'll add some good flavour at least.
what is this sign now? Cook for one minute on a high heat, and then we add this, and then we're gonna add some broccolini. So we got the broccolini ready. Might have one fresh. And then the sauce. I might have an eat it with some wraps. This can be my um, pretend naan bread. I reckon. What do we got? Got two. You know what, that's that's how I'm gonna cover this. I didn't think of that until then. That's my covering, that's my naan bread. Give it a good sizzle. I reckon it's about done. I can just sit and simmer for a while. And I'm gonna um, move everything here up to camp. I might prep another uh, Piece of naan bread, so called naan bread. Just throw it on there quickly. It's gonna go over there. Might, if it gets crispy, it'd be quite nice. We'll get that one prepped a bit more too. And uh, we'll throw everything in here and we'll head up, sit back, and watch the sunset. <coughs> How good's this? I'd already filmed the outro actually, but uh, we're just putting it on. That sunset, it's amazing. And this dinner is amazing too. I've already eaten most of the fish. A little bit more. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I'm going to enjoy my dinner, watch the sunset, and just get a really good night's sleep tonight. Perched up here in the most ridiculous location. In the most ridiculous spot in Western Australia. Not really, but it's, it's one of the better campsites I've ever had. And I've had some crackers. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the morning.